last year I did 23 fun facts about me for my 23rd birthday and today I'm doing 24 questions from you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, also, maybe you're shocked that I am 24. I get comments all the time saying that I look 15, so I am not. <laughs> questions. Um, yeah, I think so. Some of them are kind of combined, uh, and some of them were repeats, so just wrote them down once, but I have 24. They're all coming from YouTube because I lost access to my ASMR Instagram. Uh, long story, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get it back at some point, but I couldn't ask you guys for questions over there. Okay, let's get started. Question number one is, aside from YouTube, what is your job? A lot of people think that YouTube is my only job. Um, I would love to make enough money for that to be my only job, but it is not. Um, I don't even make my rent payment from YouTube. Um, but for my actual job, I am, so I work for a company created software for bioinformatics. Um, bioinformatics is kind of like a computer science for genetic data, so like analyzing genetic data, and I basically do support for those bioinformatics software. So like when uh, genetic researchers have issues with the software, they write in to me and I help them with it. So it's kind of a computer science-y, um, job. I'm actually applying to go to genetic counseling school, though, so yeah, I just found out that I got an interview at one of the schools, so hoping to hear back about more, but like, yeah, the plan is to go into genetic counseling in the fall of 2024, so this year, yeah. Um, I don't know if I should explain what genetic counseling is. Um, you can look it up if you want to, uh, but that's what I actually want to do. All right, question number two. I thought this was an interesting one. Um, if you could experience a certain lifestyle or culture for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think if I could experience a certain
love to bake. Um, yeah, one of my friends called me the queen of dessert, so not something that I said, but he can vouch for me uh, that I'm the queen of dessert. Um, number eight was one that I got a lot in like slightly different variations, um, but what type of ASMR do you watch and favorite and least favorite trigger? It's funny because I do, I literally never watch like trivia or personal question videos ever. Um, it's not what I watch, which is funny because that's what I make. Um, so it's like what my viewers like, but I, my favorite trigger is whispering. I, I just like videos that are pure whispering. Um, yeah, that's my favorite trigger. So, I generally watch videos that lend themselves to pure whispering. Uh, so, something I watch a lot is Q&As. I watch ASMR Q&A videos, um, because it's just whispering. Uh, so yeah, if you post a q and I'll probably watch it, because I'm always looking up, like, ASMR Q&A, and I'll just watch whoever's it comes up with. Like, I watch some role plays because it's like a mix of whispering and usually like some personal attention and stuff, so I really like that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. I was watching a lot of true crime ASMR. I don't watch it that much anymore for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, least favorite trick.
was something I really disliked about it, I would just change it. Um, yeah. But, um, I guess if I could change anything, it would be, um, like, I'm sure all YouTubers relate to this, especially like ASM artists, but you, you get put into a little niche and then you cannot exit that niche ever. Um, so I decided one day to post a trivia video and it got a lot of views and now here we are. I, if I post anything other than trivia, no views, zilch, no, like nobody cares, nobody watches it. Um, same thing with like, I guess I posted an hour long video and people loved it and now like if I post anything that's under an hour it gets way fewer views like everybody wants to watch over hour long videos of my viewers at least and so I guess I would change like that niche like I wish that I could make more of a variety of videos and people always ask me to make certain things like um like inaudible reading videos or like normal trigger videos or role plays or things like that and I would love to do that. I really enjoy doing like other triggers and um, reading and things like that but they get no views and I'd love to say that I'm not just motivated by views but it is so discouraging and annoying when you work so hard on a video and then it doesn't get any views at all. So yeah, if I could change one thing, it would be like to just be able to do whatever I wanted and like people to watch it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. Number 12. This is two questions that I kind of, um, like grouped together because they give me the same energy. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich and does pineapple belong on pizza? Um, two like hot takes. So is a hot dog a sandwich? It's a good question. Yes and no. Um, I think like technically by definition it counts as a sandwich. It is bread with something inside. It is a type of sandwich. Same way that I think a burger is a type of sandwich. Um, but a hot dog is a hot dog. It's a type of sandwich and we call it a hot dog. So like it's a, it's a different thing, you know, just like a burger is a burger. Uh, it does count as a type of sandwich, but, but it's a hot suitable answer. I feel like I kind of danced around the question, but, and then does pineapple belong on pizza? Um, yes, for other people, no, for me, I, I don't really want pineapple on my pizza. Like, I wouldn't order a pizza with pineapple on it, mainly just because I don't really like when my savory food is sweet. I like it separate. I want dessert and I want savory food that is savory and salty. I don't want pineapple on my pizza, but perfectly acceptable. I'm not going to say that it's wrong. Um, you do you. I, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's good. So enjoy it. Uh, anything can go on pizza. Um, question. It's raining. Um, yeah, 
love when it's cloudy, love when it's raining, not a big fan of sun, which, sorry, that makes me sound like I'm depressed and emo, but, um, I like, I, I like the rain. Uh, I also love snow, it is snowing outside, so after I finish this video, I'm gonna go build a snowman.
practice self-care. That's a good one. I practice self-care by going to bed early. I love going to bed early. And when I say early, I mean like 8.30, 9. Yeah, I love going to bed early. Um, I stretch a lot. Stretching is my self-care. my 
videos to go to sleep or like every night or anything um, but they do watch me just to support me or whatever yeah although my boyfriend has never watched one of my videos which is so funny um, yeah he like I guess I always tell people I'm like please don't watch my videos like I I don't want you to watch them at least not around me like don't let me see it um, and I guess he took that really seriously no one else in my family did but he I told him about my channel and I was like oh but don't watch my videos and then it was like months later and he was like yeah I've never seen one of your videos because you told me not to like I don't know he he really took me seriously but uh, yeah a lot of my friends and family do and question number 24 for my 24th birthday the last one what is a motto or saying that you live by that's a good one um motto or saying that i live by i think one saying i live by is like when life gives you gives you lemons make lemonade i really really try to make the best of every situation and like there's no point in dwelling on negative things like i uh got my wisdom teeth taken out and ever since my surgery i have not felt the right side of my tongue i've talked about it before the right side of my tongue is numb and my mom feels so bad and she's like i hate that that happened and yeah i hate that it happened but i just try to say like i have a fun fact about myself now like hey i have something that i can tell people and they it's a conversation starter like i just i try to make lem lemonade out of the lemons you know um just hit the wall uh so yeah try to make the best of every situation i guess something else is like you only live once you know i try to live by that um you you really do you only live once and why like don't save something for tomorrow that you can do today you know um so yeah i need to take that advice more but i try to so yeah you only live once but okay that was 24 questions it's actually more like 30 because i combined some of them but i hope that you enjoyed this i hope i answered your question if you had one uh i might have left out a few it's probably just because i like didn't really have an answer for it um yeah someone asked me like what weird food combinations i like i, I i'm not that weird i don't really like a lot of weird so i um just didn't include it but i hope that you enjoyed sorry for my wrist popping sorry for the snow shoveling 